There is a difference between you and me. We both looked into the abyss. But when it looked back at us, you blinked. Hi guys, I'm Gravy here, and this is a DC Legends video. In this video, I am going to go over Stargirl. Stargirl, I feel bad for Stargirl. Like, she she came out in the wrong month, okay? Like, right now, and let me go ahead and do this, little gentleman. Um, she, she picked the wrong time to come out. She picked the wrong time to come out. This is not fair. Spectre has dominated, like... Hell, my content, everyone's content, everything. Like, I literally just soloed, well, not soloed, but Spectre just was in Nightmare Campaign, last node. He was the only one to survive the first wave with like two or three more tunes to go through. And then he finished the rest of the final note of Nightmare Campaign by himself. So, and I recorded that and I'll put that video out later. But yeah, that's what she's standing up against is Spectre. So, Despite the fact that I think her rework was really good, she's just going to be overshadowed. But I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm going to go ahead and show her, show her off a bit. But uh, yeah, she's just it's unfortunate that she came out at this time. In any case, before we get started, I drop DC Legends videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Marvel Future Revolution videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Ray Shellen's videos weekly. So please like, please subscribe, and if you don't like it, just subscribe and hit dislike. I'm okay with that as well. Also. Join the Patreon. I started the Patreon. It would be greatly appreciated if you joined it. Thank you so much. And I'm probably going to end up doing an extended version of maybe even a part two of Stargirl. So be on the lookout for that on the Patreon. On the Patreon. On the Patreon. So in any case, let's just go ahead and hop into her kit. Um, I've actually, And here's the thing. Here's how you know she's good. I've ringed out all of her abilities. Or at least in my opinion, she's good. Like, I don't do that for every single tune. And you guys who've watched my videos, you've seen before where I'm going through the kits and stuff where a lot of times I'll just point out, I'm not ringing that out, I'm not ringing that out, because it's not worth the blue the blue rings that I'm having to spend on it. So basically, on her A1, damage to an enemy, apply four strength downs, 60% uh, chance to use Cosmic Strike twice. I really wish that was higher, but no, you know, I'm not going to complain too much because it procs fairly often. And the four strength downs is awesome. Very much designed for Azrael. Uh, so, Anarchus, Anarchus, Anarchus. Uh, give crit commu community. Give crit community. Really? The crit community thanks you. Um, so, give crit immunity and 75% shield to all allies, which is a stupid amount of shield to give. You're giving them basically a second health bar. Um, purge two debuffs from all allies and 50% turn meter to self. That is great. That is a great ability. Oh, that's a great ability. Damage to all enemies and 60% chance to gain damage immunity. That's awesome. 75% uh, additional damage and three crit chance downs to all enemies. And she does hit hard. This is a very much um, Wonder Woman Coda type ability on, like Wonder Woman Coda on her A3 has plus 75%. I think it's crit damage, maybe just damage. Um, so 75% additional damage is nothing that's needs that. She can wipe out waves, she can wipe out waves, she can wipe out whole teams on her A3 if you're not careful. Um, passive ability, at the end of each enemy's turn, turn up to five strength ups into strength downs that ignore immunities. The ignore immunities is huge, but again, this is designed straight up to deal with Azrael or Arcus. And the first question that I actually had about this, and the reason why I ranked it all the way out, even though it was a 5% chance at the end, is I don't even want to risk it. I'd rather just go ahead and take it out. That's fine. Um, is that because it's only talking about of that enemy's turn, right? It's not talking about of every enemy's turn, meaning after Barda's turn, still five strength ups from Azrael are converted to strength downs. And I'm gonna double check that because I haven't really paid that much attention to it. I'm gonna see if that is the case. And then the legendary point is 50% chance to gain three crit uh, chance ups. And I'm not too really, I'm not really too worried about that. Passability, each time an enemy gains a buff in their turn, 80% chance uh, for Stargirl to gain two strength ups and 25% turn meter at the beginning of Stargirl's turn. Uh, purge three buffs on her debuffs on her absolutely incredible kit i think she's amazing i'm gonna take her into pvp right now unfortunately i do not have a 6 to 10 video of her because i took her 70 11 like two years ago with the hopes of dealing with i think it was arcus that i was trying to deal with then because this was before Azrael. and i used I, I even paired her with aqualad and they both have that ability to convert um 
strength ups and the strength downs. And it only worked like not even half the time. And so I'm, I'm very, very, I've used her a little bit. I have not used her a lot, but from what I have seen, I have liked what she does. So what I'm going to try to, and I can't do the physical gym blitz because she's energy. Um, so what I'm going to do now is, oh no, this is a PVP. Well, she's a PVP bonus, but I do not have enough PV or sorry, siege bonus, but I don't have enough energy for that. So let's just go ahead and pop on over to, and I'm going to try to find like a buffer. Let's go ahead and take Arcus since I got some heat about my, uh, Starfire being, being better than Arcus. Let's go ahead. Oh, here's a good team, except that there's Spectre on it. Why is this a good team? Because Cheetah gives strength up at the at the top. And so that means that she's going to automatically weaken her entire team because every time they get a turn, she's turning that into strength downs. And in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and try to build a team to deal with this. There are no taunters on that team. So I want to take out Spectre first, which I will probably use Huntress to do so. I'm going to go ahead and go here or maybe even Spectre. Uh, let's go ahead and add in... Star Girl. Let's not do that first. Let's do Star Girl here and then remove that. All right, so now I would leave Spectre in that RB1 Spectre that I have. But I kind of, well, let's go ahead and go energy wise. Let's do energy wise. We're going to go ahead and do. Uh, should I go ahead and put in Martian Manhunter just to counter the speed of Cheetah? However, we're not, we're going to need a taunter because, uh, what's her face? Lady Shiva has that turn meter. So I'm going to go ahead and use Barda as the taunter. I took my Barda 8011 at the advice of my Yoda, Dr. Zabaro, um, just because he believes that tanky taunter, should, they, they benefit from that stat boost. And I think they do. Uh, they benefit from the stat boost of going up to 8011. So Barda was my first. 80-11, Toon. Clayface was second. Grundy will be third. And I think I'm going to stop there. All right, so um, now who do I want in the role of leader? Now, here's the reason why I'm having it. I'm reconsidering who's going to be leader, and I might even take uh, Spectre out, and that is because since Lady Shiva's going to go first, well, Lady Shiva goes first, but we still have a speed a turn meter lead that's fine because lady shiva if she does her a2 she's gonna hit barda if she does her a3 then she won't be able to take out she won't be able to take out specter if i leave specter in uh if i put in yeah i think i'm gonna go ahead and put cheetah in just to match up for speed okay and then should i take specter out because i don't think I don't have enough to take out Spectre, and I do not have, you know what, you know what, you know what, you know what, forget Lady Shiva, I'm gonna put in, oh, no, she has to be a hero. I'm gonna put in Batwoman. All right, so let's see here, let's see what happens. And I wanna put it on 2X just so I can see the conversion of those buffs, and to see if she does buff as others are buffing, if she, if she does gain strength ups. So, boop, boop, be doop, chop, chop. All right, so we'll put that on 2X just so we can see. Actually, I haven't even seen her animation since. All right, so there's our strength ups. Boom. So now Lady Shiva goes. Her strength ups have now become a strength down. That was the strength ups you got from Cheetah. Now I'm going to use Batwoman to take out Spectre, hopefully. No, she didn't take out Spectre. This may be an issue for us. Nope, Cheetah did it, cool. All right, so after their turns, yep, that's Cheetah getting hers changed. Let's go ahead and stun Cheetah. And then we can shield everybody, protect first, and then go at them with this. She also gained a turn meter there but they're all going to be a little bit weaker just because see there's more there's more strength downs being turned let's go ahead and strengthen her i think i can put this on 3x in a minute so everybody 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 come at them oh i haven't even been paying attention to when they buff if she's getting strength ups 
So let's see, we have this, cool, this, cool. Okay. All right. This should attack twice. That works. Okay. I think this will take her out. Ah, close enough. So now let's see. That one more. Boom, got her. All right, I'll put on three X for the next one. But yeah, she was converting those strength ups into de uh, strength downs, ignoring the um, debuff immunity that was put up by Terra. So all's well that ends well. That's what I was kind of looking for. So now let's actually like run her against some teams and see what happens. We'll do a couple more battles, then I'll call it a video. Uh, who's here? Do we have an Azrael here? I want to see it work on Azrael. No. I want to see an Azrael fight. I'm actually looking for Azrael. Now watch, the one time I'm looking for him, I don't find him because that's just how life works. Um, nope, that's Harley Quinn. Come on now. Batgirl. That's Arcus. I mean, he does love his strength ups. So then what I am tempted to do is I may put Clayface in alongside maybe an owl man maybe a uh, terra let's put terra in because terra will ensure that we do not get enraged check check and then maybe the next team i do i'll do um what's the word i'm looking for farmable do a farmable team cheetah will increase our speed terra will make sure that we don't get hit and then make sure we don't get enraged and then maybe Either Clayface, no, nah, I don't need Clayface for Taunt, right? Mm, who do I want to go in? Well, maybe I'll pick somebody farmable now. I mean, this team is mostly farmable. Terra isn't, but let's choose a farmable one. Uh, Star Sapphire. The Star Sapphire work. I think Spectre's technically farmable because he does show up in the Void Scanner. Um. Or Wonder Woman Code. Wonder Woman Code is not farmable. Adrigan is farmable. Grundy is farmable, but I don't want him to be a taunter against Harley Quinn. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go with Star Sapphire. I was tempted to put Adrigan into that role, but Star Sapphire will work. All right. Oh no, I remembered what I wanted to do, but that might not have mattered. I wanted to put someone in that couldn't. They had can't miss or at least give hit chance ups. But that's fine. We'll be okay. All right, let's go ahead and put this at 3x. Um, I'm almost tempted to wait and let Arcus get ramped up. You know what I mean? Like, I see, I feel like I would be okay with that right now. So let's go ahead and hit you twice. That second time almost took you out. You got lucky. You got lucky. All right, let's go ahead and buff everybody. So this should be okay because we have plenty of hit chance ups. Oh, oh, I thought she was gonna be gone after that. Okay, let's see how well she does at wiping teams. Well, at least she got rid of Harley Quinn. We got that damage immunity up, which is great because Ark is retaliated. So that's what's up. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And then this, because I'm waiting for her to change those strength downs or those strength ups and the strength downs for uh, Arcus. Now, here's the thing. It's after his turn, so we already got a chance to take. And she didn't do it. Or at, least I, at least it didn't look like it by much. Let's go ahead and shield up. Ooh, yeah. Oi, oi, oi. See, she didn't do it there. And this should be okay, but still, I'm not a fan. I am not a fan. We are not amused. We are not amused. Yeah, go ahead, go for it. Whatever, dude. Starfire is better. All right, so <laughs> um, oh, I wanted to go after that team again just for the strength up, strength down thing. Um, let's see if I can find another Arcus or Azrael. That was disappointing. Did I miss it? 
because well it does say up to five strength ups and that time it was only like only said like one strength down maybe two so let's try that one more time one more time let's see no you guys gonna do this to me really you're gonna do this for y'all gonna do this to me in front of my friends like the one time shout out david bory the one time i need to find an azrael or an arcus and he's not gonna show up okay there's azrael all right now seeing as how we have a whole lot of physicals there that hit hard as hell maybe i'll take out the mystics um so let's take them out uh i said i want to try to do farmable why did i make that promise before i knew what i was going up against so farmable terra is not farmable now is she which means i'm gonna have to run green lantern right right next we have to deal with black flash somehow some way in a farmable manner which means harley quinn is probably going to be our best bet right right hoping that black flash will miss her or at least or at least enrage black flash so he doesn't do his a3 now we're hoping for now we're gonna need a can't miss Owlman not farmable starfire not farmable general's law not farmable what am i supposed to do with that um i mean dash i hired gun but at the same time is that gonna be good enough for cassandra kane we're gonna have to like bide our time and wait up wait clayface is in the PvP shop right now. Do you get frags of Clayface from Red Alerts? I don't know. So since I don't know, I can't use them. Grundy, yeah, but as I just said, it's all physical. So I'm not using Grundy as a target. Oh, duh. Obvious. In my face. Looking for a taunter. I, I mean, I would love to have a physical taunter right here. And that is going to be Harley Quinn, but if I want another Tauncher that's going to hit hard, I'm leaning towards Power Girl right now. I'm heavily leaning towards Power Girl at the moment. Let's see if there's any other energy that would make more sense in this role that I'm just not thinking of that is farmable and isn't garbage like Firestorm was. Arcus. There's a lot of can't miss in there, though. But if I put Arcus in and, but we won't go first. Black Flash should go first. And then I'm relying on, we, cause okay, put it this way. Here's the, here's the thought process. We're not going to get enraged because of Green Lantern. Black Flash is going to go first. If he does his A2 or A3, then we don't get a chance. And so then Arcus is going to have to wait. And I don't know if he'll survive. Let's go ahead and put him in. I don't know that he'll survive the attack from Black Flash. If Black Flash gets enraged and he just attacks Harley Quinn, then we do get our chance. However, I don't know that Arcus is slower than Azrael now. Let's see what happens. Let's just see what happens. Let's see what happens. As I'm sitting here thinking through it, let's just see what happens. I'm kind of nervous. I don't exactly know what to do. So all Arcus, farmable and red alerts, Harley Quinn, farmable everywhere, all over his real campaign. And oh yep, so he uses A2. And then um Green Lantern farmable all over heroic. So they're all just attacking. Nobody asked for my permission or nothing. Alright, so here's the deal. Should I now we've converted some of those strength ups to strength downs. One, some of. Um should I attack with her A3 and hope to God that she can take out Azrael? Let's see if she can take out Azrael. How about that? This is scientific. She has two strength outs from when someone else buffed. Now she has damage immunity plus she has, or she has buff immunity plus, uh, let's go ahead and do this with. Oh, that missed everybody. All right, so let's remove this stuff. Awesome. He missed, she retaliated. Let's try to take out Azrael. Boom. Now he's gone. So she didn't really do a whole lot against Azrael right there. 
Like she did some, but not a whole lot. Now here's the thing, in the beginning when she first came out, she and I, I already know how this story ends. Um, when she first came out, I felt as though she was doing a lot against Azrael, like reducing a lot of those strength ups and the strength downs or converting them. And now this time, this showing, not so much, not so much. I'm gonna do one more, then I'm gonna call it a video. Cause I really wanna see her do, I wanna see her do Azrael dirty, basically. I wanna see her just put Azrael in his place. So let me go ahead and do this. So far, I think she's a good tune, not a great one. I would put her like at B tier. Um, she has her uses, she has her niches, like where she's going to be useful. Uh, it's unfortunate that she came out what she did, but I think she's good. I think she's solid. I don't think she's a game changer. And if you're trying to make a decision or if you're short on re resources, she isn't the one that I would say you need to immediately work on, put it that way. Um, if you have a choice between Spectre and her, of course, Spectre. If you have a choice between Bloodsport and King Shark, I haven't, I haven't really, I have not, not haven't really, I have not worked with at all. So I can't really give a perspective on that. But um, I would say, just giving my opinion, she's a luxury, not a necessity. So it's nice to have her, but if you don't have her, you're not going to, you'll still progress through the game. Uh, okay, well, there's Arcus. Let's see how this goes. And then we have, so we don't have to worry about any of the enrage. I just took away Stargirl. Why on earth did I do that? Um, let's put Cheetah in because she gets strength ups. And since Stargirl is strength based, that will help her hit harder. Um, let's go ahead and look at the physicals that we have here. Uh, oh, we still wanna make this farmable? We can still make it farmable. Uh, if I put in Bane, that could work. I do like me some Bane. And then I would love to put in Trans Enchantress at Lee, but she is not farmable. So now I want a Mystic because if I have this kind of imbalance where I'm trying to force a square peg into a round hole where Star Girl is going in for Arcus purposes and just to watch him, like I then need the affinity that can handle both which is mystic here, meaning that a mystic is neutral affinity to the mystic and then it's a positive affinity to the energy, so it's okay for this role. So I'm gonna try to go ahead and go with the mystic. And should that mystic be Etrigan? That mystic might, but since it's a strength based, I mean, that's where Coda would come in, but I don't think I want to put her in. Besides the fact that she isn't farmable. Um, no one else farmable here, really. So I think I'm gonna have to go with Etrigan. Well, Etrigan wraps himself up anyway, so we should be good. Let's go ahead and put Etrigan in there. Hopefully we'll be fast enough to take out Black Flash before he gets a chance to hit us with the A3. That would be nice. So let's see how this goes. Etrigan might be able to double tap on his A1. If I hit him with Bane and then Etrigan as well, but I would need, oof, it'd be nice to have some mins. So I can just go ahead and give him a stun. All right, so Bane, Bane, Bane. Let's go ahead and hit you. Uh, shields up. Um, let's go ahead and just ramp up a little bit. I'm gonna give him a chance, that's fine. Oh, thank you, Bane. How considerate of you. How inconsiderate of Star Sapphire. We have a video going on here. All right, so we've converted some of the strength ups and strength downs from Arcus already. I'm gonna go ahead and use these A3. See how that goes. We get retaliated against, of course. Uh, let's try to take out Black Flash if at all possible. Nope, not gonna happen. We may already be in a bad way. There goes Bane. Yep, yeah, not working. Not working. One more just to beat him. And then I'll call it a video. And in fact, you know what I'll do? After this one more trial, then I'll just keep going and put it on Patreon. <laughs> That's what I'll do. That is what I shall do. But um, so far, I think she, like I said, I think she's solid. Right now, I, she's not working for me. Like, but when, like I said, when she first came out, 
She was doing okay. Like, I mean, she wasn't world beating, but she was doing all right. And now it's like, not at all. But um, I think she's solid. However, if you got, if you, if you're trying to decide between a couple, I would say put your resources elsewhere unless you're like already fully settled or you have a specific role or idea in mind of what you want to do with her. But other than that, she is not a necessity. She's a luxury. So as I go into this for the final time, thank you guys for watching. Please like, please subscribe. Please join the Patreon if you would like to support me. Help me keep making this content. Help me keep making more content. Um, also, I watched The Long Halloween. I don't know if I said this on a previous video already, but I watched The Long Halloween, that Batman movie, part one and part two. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. I loved it. And um, I'll put a link for it down below. But parts one and parts two, they're awesome. It's like the best one since, was Flashpoint? Was it Flashpoint or Dark Knight Returns? Those two are like my favorites or some of my favorites. And so it's the best one since those. There's been some others that have come out, of course. Okay, so she converted. Oh, so she removed those strength ups and then just put the one strength down. Okay, so she'll still remove them, but put it down. That makes a difference. That does make a difference um, in my evaluation big time. I like that. All right, so. But, uh, oh, go ahead, go ahead. All right. That's going to heal them because, of course, it's Star Sapphire, but I need to get her out of the way so she wouldn't keep debuffing us. Whee. There we go. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm going to do it. There goes my vein. Oh, no, 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 no. Now convert. Oh, she converted some of those strength downs. Took some away, but converted some of them. That is great. We like to see that. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. If he retaliates, we're done. He didn't retaliate. Um, he missed because, you know, Arcus can miss. Um, see how we handle this. All right, he has the death immunity up, but uh, Huntress will take him out later. Yeah, Huntress will handle that. All right, so he has these strength ups that were not converted this time. Where's the, why is the death immunity still up there? How long is this freaking death immunity? I mean, come on. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna hit Green Lantern now. She's putting strength downs on him. Arcus has, of course, that uh, debuff immunity, so that's why he's not. But I just took care of him. All right, so then let's go ahead and just finish this off. So, as I was saying before, thank you guys for watching. Please like, please subscribe. Come on, take out Arc. See, they, they messed up my, my outro. I wanted him to fall, have the three stars pop up. Please like, please subscribe, three stars, and then I'll see you next time. That's how that was supposed to end, but it's not going to end that way now. So, please like, please subscribe. See you guys next, the YouTubers, I'll see you guys next time for my Patreons. I'll see you, on, I'll see you over on Patreon.